Guys, take care of yourself. See you tomorrow. Bye. Richard rents a horse from a guy from San Marcos and runs as fast as he could, going back to his village with the hope of taking the money, then returns to his family safely. Six hours later, Richard arrives to his house, he opens the door, and then he gets into the house. Oh, finally I'm home. Richard goes to check the goat if it is all right. Hey, how is our tough guy going? Richard pats the goat's head tenderly. You didn't eat all the food, did you? <laughs> then suddenly, an object drops from inside, and breaking noise from Richard's room comes out. Richard hears that, and he gets terrified, and he says, What? What the hell is that? Richard moves slowly towards the room and slightly opens the door, and then he sees a stranger messing with his stuff. What? Who's that? Hey, you! Richard moves fast, intending to attack the man, when suddenly the man turns around with much anxiety and shows Richard his face accidentally. What are you doing here? Who are you? Then, Richard recognizes the man's identity. Doris? It's you? What? What are you doing here? Then Richard grips Doris' shirt tightly. And then Doris says, Get on me. Get on me, Richard. What happened wasn't due to my plan. Your plan, huh? Is it to rob me? I'll take you to the sheriff. It seems that you didn't learn from the last time, but this time I promise you that this will be the last house you rob, and you'll see. You can do it, because you'll not be able to see the sun out of this house again. Then Doris takes his revolver out of his holster and puts it on Richard's chin and starts to threaten him with Get off Richard or you're going to face a bad consequence You want to kill me Doris? After all what you have done? Sneaking into my house to rob me and, and then you want to kill me? You will never get away with this You let me no choice you you saw my face, and, and you shouldn't have done it. Why did you come back? Why? It's your fault. You listen to me, it's your fault. I have never seen such a shameless asshole like you before. You're, you're discussing with me this. I just, I just can't believe you. It's my fault. Is it my fault getting into my house? You will never get away with this. Do you hear me? Take this! Ugh. Damn you, Richard! Richard punches Doris on his face and manages to escape and runs away from Doris' gun threatens to the backyard of the house that is enclosed by high walls where the Wilson's family keeps the goat and he tries to run from Doris, but not for too long. Get back here, Richard! I want to make it easy for you. Where are you? Doris succeeds in catching Richard again, and hits Richard's head with the bottom of the revolver, until Richard slightly loses his consciousness in front of the goat. Did you see, Richard? I told you that I'm going to catch you like a rabbit. Now, don't move. 
You will never get away with this forest. Everybody will know your deeds. I'll kill you. And there is no way for anyone to know. You have no witness, Richard. <laughs> you are wrong. This goat. Do you see? This goat will be my own witness. And it's going to be the way to your collapse. Doris takes his knife out of his pocket. The goat? <laughs> right then. Let the goat help ya! By stabbing Richard in the stomach, Doris kills Richard, leaving his blood spilling on the ground with no mercy. The goat looks at Doris in a frightening manner. Doris gets afraid and runs away from his hideous deed, leaving Richard's broken body and his witness behind. Like and subscribe to see more.